It is an event that defies superlatives. One geologist said today, there is no record in geology in the last 4,000 years of anything like this happening before. 1,400 feet of the mountain disappeared in seconds. It was the largest landslide in recorded history. An enormous mushroom cloud formed high above the volcano, three times as tall as Mount Everest, with an energy equivalent to 1,500 Hiroshima atom bombs. 230 square miles of forest were blown down in three minutes. And the human victims were scalded, blown to pieces, pulverized beyond recognition. After the ash settled, 57 people were dead. Truman, who is not related to the former president, but is just as feisty, says he's lived here 54 years and is not about to leave. You see, Harry and his wife always said they would spend the rest of their days at Spirit Lake. And Harry didn't see any reason to change that now. The mountain may have been moving, but he wasn't. I'm not going to leave here because I'm the only one up here. There's nobody else who lives up here in the wintertime. So it's just going to have to run Truman off this lake and I'm not going to go. There's no goddamn way that that mountain has got enough stuff to come my way. He talks standing, sitting, eating, drinking, and we don't doubt even when he's sleeping. His gift for chatter has made him an instant celebrity. A folk hero overnight. He became a national hero. I had some people yesterday ask me why the hell I stay there, what am I doing up there? That's my life. Spirit Lake and Mount St. Hell is my life. Folks, I've lived there 50 years. It's a part of me. That mountain and that lake is a part of Truman, and I'm a part of it. Truman's reputation as a stubborn, crusty, whiskey-drinking diehard grew as rapidly as his refusals to leave. <laughs> no, I'm not going to leave. You're damn right I'm not going to leave. I'm going to stay here. If I left, it'd kill me. If I left this place and lost my home, I'd die in a week. I, I couldn't live. I couldn't, I couldn't expand it. So I'm like that old captain, and by God, I'm going down the ship. If I said if the damn thing takes this mountain, I'm going along with it. I'd rather be dead. Four. The head of the Washington State Patrol, Robert Landon, sat on Spirit Lake Lodge owner Harry Truman's front porch at 6 o'clock on May 17th, less than 15 hours before the big eruption. He tried to talk Truman into leaving, but the old man stuck to the answer that he had always given reporters. I look at that stuff on television, radio, and I said, oh, poo. The press has blowed it up. They have blowed it out of all proportion. We have been getting a number of calls about the fate of Harry Truman. Right now, we do know that, in effect, Spirit Lake has disappeared. It's been covered or wiped out with, uh, with mud flows or ash or lava or a combination of all those different things, and, and uh, there's very little chance that he survived. The Shangri-La was Harry Truman's venerable Mount St. Helens Lodge. It is now a gaping, steam-venting crater. They estimate that Harry had about 22 seconds from the time the mountain first started to rumble to when the landslide would have hit him. They build him up as uh, the, the hero who would stick it out. And uh, he did. Now all this black stuff coming out of the mountain here, that, that's not being blown up by the press. No, it's not being blown up by the press, but the magnitude of the thing, the disaster thing, of the thing, I think that they're, they're exaggerating.